they probably should adapt the floor size based on the size of the players. It's a huge game, five points to go along with five assists, but had seven rebounds. And they're off the missed basket, Treyor. Gets so thank you, Kenny Widgeon, for coming over, which is what we like to pass along to our viewers. And it's so different, too, from a lot of people, you depending on the kind of basketball you watch, is Treyor's had run back. Right. But they took their time to walk it up and run a set, but... This has been the matchup that the Patroons have liked here. And Treyor, they leave them one-on-one. -on -one. You want to see half-court set, who's successful. This is going to determine the difference between winner and loser for them. Treyor getting whatever. So Josue Salam is in now. Flory kicks it into Treyor. Treyor's got eight to shoot, seven to shoot. Trying to put on the moves. Baseline, Jay is good. He's up looking to run. Treyor sees the mismatch and again goes through and the basket. Mustafa Treyor has taken over here in the second quarter of game three. Phase of the game, yep. Shadell gets to the rim, knows his limitations, sets up his teammates phenomenally well. Nice little step back there from Treyor. The defense from Arrington and the alley-oop the other way to find Treyor. 5'7", 145 pounds. He gives every smaller person hope that hope. you can play ball. Absolutely. And he's tough, man. Rayor works himself. Right there, they do a little high ball screen for Chanel Millinghouse. Rayor back to Weiss. He'll fire away at the end of the shot clock, oh. and it's good. Coverage there's lead is now eight. Millinghouse working his way inside, and a beautiful look. Up. Uh, that was Richard McCallop. Richard McCallop, yeah. The athletic from Ridge. We he discussed how he wanted to get up and down, wanted to have a free flowing offense, not run a ton of sets, things that the the players know, and you know that's what they need to do here to get the basket right there. But and they they read the game notes from yesterday. Every just like what's good about the league. Officiating, trying to work up. They have the game notes. They got to put their notes in after every. Wait to see the floor, and um, we'll see remnants of that. Troor drives in, and he gets two underneath. Ball game. White still out there, still scoreless. Short corner two, up and in. So Traore is. They're capable after winning at Atlantic City. It's just how can you do that and sustain it for a length of time? Like yeah. the Patroons got. It, let's be honest, it, it's difficult to beat. Energy. He'll draw the dice in the Simon as the Rebels switch Defense. off. Butler walls up. Better offense there. Bob. On, Lewis trying to wall up underneath the basket as that fall away jumper. And now tonight, the Patroons only playing with nine. Oh, right right careless turnover. And right it's going to lead to a huge dunk. Millinghouse to try. trying to wall up underneath. Weish can't get the finish. Good defense there from McCallop. Trying to swat it away. Can't do so. Hostway's jacking a three. That's no good. Rebound by Treor out the roll. Shot trying to beat the shot clock there as Hood out quickly goes the other way. Drops it off to Treor who lays it in. And that's where Jamil Hood. Dyson. A couple of jab steps. Now it's Weish working on Carr. High screen from. Treyor, one dribble pull up, and that one's knocked down. Treyor's got something to say to his bench as they hype. Roland Jr. out the Millinghouse. Flips it out to Treyor. Treyor's turnaround jumper is good. That's right, and they need to focus on what they can control. They can't control the officiating. They just need to focus on defensive effort and making simple. Back to Millinghouse. Maybe the Trins go for a two for one here. They got two seconds to do so. Looks like they're going to run it down a little bit. Nine to shoot with Trey, Treyor. And Coach Linderman's head goes right into his lap as Treyore in transition gets the layup to go, plus the foul. And I tell you what, if you look. Running the Patroons offense, 13, dumps it down low to Treyor. Nice pass there as he gets inside. And... Well, we'll see what the Patroons come up with on this possession is Treffles on the Flurry. Flurry with 60. All kinds of contact between Weish and Nobles. 
Treor strong to the basket. Mustafa Treor. Green. He'll kick it. Millinghall is looking to feed the post. Treor one on one with McCallum. McCallum looking to wall up. Treor just a little. And Patroons are going to have to make an adjustment because Syracuse is getting to the rim at will. Some activity on courtside is a rather large yellow jacket. Has the fans running for cover. That's Glassford. Yeah, and you look at those two as probably the two next to step up if Marquardt's not going to be able to, they need to get open. Syracuse obviously has had a strong season. Not there taking Weish away. Miles Nettles was on him. Good close out on the Treyor shot, but uh. he knocks it down anyway. A couple possessions of nice little floaters and to finish the thought in adding Ed Dyson so the rotations have changed but you know the nice thing about Patroons is Treyor hits a tough 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 shot Chris Weish missed wide open three missed two free throws like that's not that's not common oh, and Treyor off of the ball screen from Roland Jr. Albany's sitting here with a 40 point lead 40 on the nose Treyor from when Shadell last played. I believe there was 12 teams in the TBL the last time Shadell was on this court. Now there's upwards of 48. Yeah, 40, 49 teams. Great, that's to come up here and play professional basketball. Middle of the season, nonetheless. Something else picked up by Burns. Swings it over Mustafa Treor. From the free throw line is good.